the reduced incidence matrix is given in this problem. The question is to draw the graph and to find how many trees are possible. Okay. So first we are going to draw the oriented graph from the given data. So what is the given data? Reduced incidence matrix with three rows, five columns. Okay. In order to draw the oriented graph, we need to have complete incidence matrix. But the given data is reduced incidence matrix. Okay. So here the complete incidence matrix can be obtained by adding the fourth row to the reduced incidence matrix. So how can we add fourth row to this reduced incidence matrix? It is very simple. We are going to take the negative sum of other rows. Do you all understand? So here we can take that complete incidence matrix as the first three rows are same as that of the given data. Okay. So we are going to form the fourth row by taking the negative sum of other rows. Is that okay? So here we are going to take that negative sum of these three rows to consider the fourth one. So here 1 minus 1 plus 0. So here we can get 0. Then the negative value is also 0. For this three rows, we can take 0 minus 1 plus 0. We can take minus 1 as the answer. We are going to make it as a negative 1. So minus 1 becomes plus 1. So next take this one. 0 minus 1 plus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 cancel. Then we can get simply 0. Then this one. 0 plus 0 minus 1. So we can get minus 1 as the answer. But here we are considering the negative sum. So minus 1 becomes plus 1. Similarly, the last one, minus 1 plus 0 plus 0. We can get minus 1. So, that is equal to plus 1 for this fourth row. Do you all understand? So, this is what that complete incidence matrix for the given reduced incidence matrix. Is that okay? So, after getting this complete incidence matrix, as we know that the row represents the node. Okay, there are four nodes. Four rows means what? Four nodes. We can name the nodes as A, B, C, D. There are five columns. Five columns means column represents the branch, right? So we can name the branch like this. One, two, three, four, five. Do you all understand? Next, we are going to draw the oriented graph from this complete incidence matrix. For that, we can consider four nodes, okay? So here we can consider four nodes. Four nodes means it can be either square shape or triangular shape. So here we can take the shape like this. A, B, C, D. Is that okay? So next we can take this row. Okay. At this node A, the first branch is 1. 1 means what? Leaving. Correct? 1 represents what? Leaving. So here we can draw the branch leaving from this node that is nothing but first branch. Then the second, third, fourth, this, the, this values are 0. So we can ignore it and the fifth row is minus 1. Minus 1 means entering into the node. So minus 1 means we can consider that value like this. So it is entering into this node. Do you all understand? So it is fifth branch. Okay. So next consider that B node at this node, first branch, second branch, third branch, these three branches are entering. Okay, minus one means what? Entering into that node. So first branch is already entered into that branch. So then we can take that another branch which is entering to this node. There is one more branch entering into this B node. Is that okay? So here we can consider the values like this. Next, C node. At this node, the third branch is leaving. Third branch is leaving. So already one branch is leaving from this node. We can consider that as the third branch. Do you all understand? And one branch is entering into that node. Minus one means entering. So we can enter that value from this D node. 
so this is what fourth branch obviously this branch is the second branch do you all understand this so here we can ensure that with this d node at this d node the second branch is leaving correct so second branch is leaving fourth and fifth branches also leaving so this diagram is correct one this is the oriented graph for the given reduced incidence matrix do you all understand this one next we are going to find out the number of possibilities for the given network that can be obtained by using the formula determinant of the matrix multiplication of a matrix and its transpose so here a matrix is nothing but the reduced incidence matrix that's what given in the question we can write that a matrix as such and the transpose can be obtained by interchanging that row to column column to row okay so then we can multiply these two matrices we can get this value like this so here this row this row is going to be multiplied with this first column as a first element then the second column that is the second element then the third column do you all understand similarly we can take the second row multiply with this first column second column third column that is the second row then the third row here so finally we can get the answer as 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 3 minus 1 0 minus 1 2 okay this is the matrix multiplication of the ca matrix and its transport value next we are going to take the determinant of this value that is equal to we have to keep this 2 here and cross multiply this two values so 6 minus minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 so obviously we can have minus 1 minus of the second column is minus 1 and we can multiply this two values okay minus 1 into 2 minus 2 then it is 0 the last one is 0 okay we can get the answer as 8 the number of possibilities for the given network is